ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದೇಶ್ವರ ಸಂಭ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದೇಶ್ವರಿ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರು ಪರಂಪರ इस समय हमारे साथ उपस्थित सभी दर्शकों और भक्तों का मैं प्रेम एवं आशीर्वाद सहित स्वागत करता हूँ ए वेलकम ऑल द डिवोटीज डिसाइपल्स समाजीज सत्संगीज सिटिंग विथ अस ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड थ्रू नित्यानंदा टीवी साधना टीवी लोटस न्यूज चैनल जनश्री टीवी ईश्वर टीवी and through two way video conferencing and physically here i welcome all of you with my love and respects city sitting with us in two way video conferencing having nayana diksha Los Angeles Arunachalam Waring Warrington UK Seattle Chidambaram Houston Kalahasti San Jose Madurai Fort Washington UK Guadalupe Rameshwaram Nityanandeshwara Temple Charlotte Ohio Ma Shivananda East London UK टोरंटो कैलासम ओक्लहामा सोमनाथ कोलालंपूर् पढ़णी तिरवान्मूर् चेन्नई ओहयो प्रयाग जोर्पाटी नेपा हांगकांग सीर्गा ओम शिवगंग आदिनीनंदनपीठ आवत्तिपा हुजूर् ध्यानपीठ विस्टन सैलम नारथ करोना वैंकोवर् भुवनेश्वर Hi High Point North Carolina Singapore Singapore Kulim Tirutthani Bogota Colombia Nityananda Nagaram Hyderabad London Kashi Nepal Kathmandu Hyderabad Gupta Kashi Hong Kong Sirgali That's it Salem Dhyana Peetam Baroda Baroda Dhyana Peetam, I can see you guys today. Yes. I welcome all of you with my love and respects. Blessings for the Baroda Dhyana Peetam coming on two-way video conferencing after a long time. And blessings for this Winston Salem Dhyana Peetam, Winston Salem Center. Winston Salem you have a unique historical thing my first satsang outside india is conducted in winston salem winston salem north carolina your city is the place i did my first satsang outside india not san jose not oklahoma that and all is secondary the day i landed in usa that night we had a satsang in winston salem that's my first satsang outside india so in that way you are historical in dhyanapitam's history all right today 24th inner awakening beginning and 21st ingenious as usual as usual the moment i am back in bidhi the brahmotsava started today today we have 
started the Rajarajeshwari Brahmotsava. Yesterday with Ganesha Puja it started and today early morning Vajarohanam happened. The Brahmotsava, the celebrating cosmic mother for next 11 days. Today is Radha Sabdami also. Means the Surya is changing his wheels, the direction of movement. And for next 10 days, we will be celebrating the Cosmic Mother and her presence and blessings. Today, I will expand on a very important subject of completion and permutation combination of your mental layers. Please listen. Completion and the permutation combination of your mental layers. How the basic cognition of your life and what you think as changeable rules of life and unchangeable rules of life, what you think as possible and impossible, how the permutation combination of that leads to incompletion or completion. Listen, Dhyan se suniye. Every one of you believe something is possible for you, something is impossible for you. You think some things are possible even if you don't do anything. Some things are possible if you do little effort. Some things will be forced on you even if you don't want. Same way, some things are impossible. Some things can be done with a little effort. Some things, how much ever you try, you can't do. You have a different, different perception. Please understand. Sometime a man lives in such kind of perceptions, you will be afraid of a disease which is never going to happen, but you may not be afraid of a danger or a possibility of an accident in your workplace where every day you are involved with it. For example, you may be cherishing so much of that possibility of cancer for you, but you may not cherish. In your inner space, you may feel the accident in your machine in which directly you are working whole day, you may not even perceive that fear. You may feel that is impossible. You will feel the fear of cancer because the next guy who works next to you is smoking. The passive smoking cancer fear may be looking very possible for you. And the machine in which directly you are working, even if you miss one moment, your hand will go away. That accident will be impossible for you. Please listen. Understand this example. I am, I am not telling whether you are going to get cancer or whether you are not going to get cancer or whether you are going to get into accident or whether you are not going to get into accident. Here I am talking about the perception. The permutation combination of perceptions.
permutation combination of perception please listen i wanted you to understand this concept very deeply because understanding this concept will lead you to the liberated thinking sometimes the straight possible negative happenings or accidents will not even be impacting your decision making because you do not entertain incompletion or fear about it for example this small fear which you entertain oh this fellow constantly smokes i may get cancer because of passive smoking because of that fear you may want to change place but every day you are working in a machine which is very risky even if you dose for a moment your hand or head will be cut but in your cognition you do not perceive that as a big fear so you don't even feel like changing job i have seen a doctors some doctors just if some patient comes with a cough cold they will cover themselves and put a mask and everything but when they are doing the surgery for the hiv patient they won't even care to protect them because of your perception please understand i am not saying you will get hiv or not get hiv you will get cough or not get cough i am not talking about that all i am talking about it is your perception plays a major role in in your decision making than the reality so let the incompletion constantly ask you to take decisions not be respected or believed as a fact of information but be remembered as perception i made a very long statement please listen i'll expand whenever you are asked to make decisions by your mind sometime very foolishly i have seen one person came to be a brahmachari in the ashram ran away then later on he came to attend a program i asked why did you run away i was afraid of snakes i thought here some snakes are living they may come into my room and bite me and this fellow is a electrician whole day he works with electric wires and all that there so much of possibility of electrocuted but this fellow will not even care he is such a careless fellow he will get into the poles without chappal he will get into he will touch the wires without proper protection and he will touch the live wires the death due to the electrocution is 98% possibility for him death by the snake bite will be only 0.0001% possibility, possibility for him but what makes him take decision is this fear which impacts him so please understand whenever your mind is forcing you to make decisions showing some reason do not believe it it is not matter of fact it is matter of perception your incompletion being justified by the mind and you are forced to believe that as a matter of reality please understand the matter of perception being shown to you as a matter of fact is powerlessness
the matter of perception shown to you as a matter of fact is powerlessness today i am in the mood of inner awakening that is <laughs> the utsava started <laughs> the moment dwajarohanam happened <laughs> the utsava started please listen i made very long statements today i'll try to repeat and break them to small bits and pieces and try to tell you the matter of perception is being made to be believed as a matter of fact is incompletion that's the first thing and matter of fact is made to be believed as matter of perception also is powerlessness sometime the matter which is a fact you overlook it is not perceived as a reality that is ignorance powerlessness the permutation combination of facts being made to be perceived as a perception and perceptions being perceived as a fact this permutation combination leads to bound bondage thinking suffocating thinking listen the source of this wrong permutation combination is incompletion the more and more you complete the more and more the facts will become facts and perceptions will become perceptions the beauty is when you know the fact as a fact perception as a perception and you don't even change you play with it it is called leela you know fact as a fact and perception as a perception and you don't even bother about changing it you just play with it it is called leela fact is a fact is a fact perception is a perception is a perception if you support any one with incompletion the complicated permutation combination makes life bound makes life bound please understand if you just this do this one homework today i wanted all of you to spend at least one hour with yourself identify at least five perception which is perceived by you almost as a fact and which is forcing you to make decisions and five facts which is being perceived by you as a perception and not inspiring you or instigating you to make decision discover this five this five and complete with both the 10 i am not asking you to discover all the perception looks like fact fact looking like perception i am not saying complete with all that no 
you are neither capable nor intelligent to complete with all that in one day and i will not force that on you if i force something which you are not capable or intelligent to do to be done in one day you will fall into svhd you always have that as a backup plan i'll try to live with my master if it doesn't settle i'll fall into svhd plan b if the plan a does not work out i have plan b and if plan b doesn't work out i have plan c what is that sdhd square i have one more sdhd whether i can complete with my sdhd or not it is like a, if your plan a doesn't work out english has 24 alphabets plan b plan c plan d i am not asking you to complete with all the perception perceived as fact and fact perceived as perception just find out 5 5 and complete with it what will happen you know you will start understanding all perception as fact is not fact all perception all fact listen all perception perceived as fact is not fact all fact perceived as perception is not perception even if i poke holes in the argument of your mind i am successful please understand in the cosmic law you can be given birth only if you are completely convinced about your ignorance even if your ignorance add a few holes poke the benefit of doubt is showered on you and you are shown the possibility for enlightenment listen how in the court of law beyond doubt the person guilt should be proved beyond doubt you should prove it that this person has committed the crime only then he can be punished if there is a doubt in the prosecution's logic even if you holes are poked in the logic of the prosecution he cannot be punished the benefit of doubt has to be given to the accused same way your logic which keeps you in incompletion your logic which keeps you in ignorance the bound thinking even if i am successful in poking few holes in it kalbera gives you the benefit of doubt and gives you the possibility for liberated thinking please understand just this one process today today just this one process it may not take more than one hour if you are already practicing completion it will take only 20 to 30 minutes if you are new to completion process it may take one hour just catch i wanted today this process to be done by even all our gurukul kids you will have one hour specially allotted you will do this homework and share with the teachers and the teachers also will guide you you will guide the teachers and teachers will guide you both because gurukul is based on sahana bhavatu sahana o bunatu sahaviryam karavavahai let both of us grow together ध्यान से सुनिए प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड द 
a permutation combination of incompletion and powerlessness becomes stronger than your inner space of advaita anubhuti that is why you believe you have become many yesterday one of my swami had a very serious question she asked me swami ji can you spare few minutes i laughed and said please go ahead she said can you answer me the fundamental question why i forgot my real nature and started becoming human being <laughs> i started laughing you raised a subject which is being discussed for last i don't know how many millions of years on the planet earth anyhow i said i'll give you very practical answer that answer will be useful for all of you that is why now i brought that subject please listen listen very practical answer because of you entertaining your incompletions self doubt hatred denial as an entertainment you see please listen when the sthd and incompletion started in you they were not capable of binding you they were only entertainment like when you start the smoking your first cigarette is not capable of addicting you just entertainment you always have the confidence to what i'll try it all my friends are there just one day <laughs> just today one peg what is there as an entertainment when you are powerful and they have no power to bind you in that moment of the confidence you allowed them to dance around you and suddenly when you are unaware they catch when they become a bondage you think why did i allow them once you become an addict you think why did i pick up the first cigarette why did i pick up the first glass understand when they came you are powerful that is why you entertained when ignorance came you are powerful that is why you entertained for example when you are falling asleep you always have the confidence any dream comes you are more powerful than the dream so you don't have the fear you lie down entertain but in the dream at one moment when the tiger is chasing you when the elephant is wow forcing you then you feel are god where did i get into what happened to me at that time you feel the suffocation and bondage so please understand all ignorance incompletion the dvaita anubhava dual experience when i say dual experience dvaita anubhava no way i am disrespecting the philosophy of madhva or ramanujacharya when i use the word dvaita anubhava i mean that good and bad right and wrong dharma adharma vairagya vairagya so this dual this dvandva is what i am talking so when you experience this dvandva dual and you feel suffocated bound by this dual understand 
you allowed at the moment where you were more powerful and they were only entertainment they have not become power they have not they were not able to have power over you at that time that is the time you allowed them i tell you never ever entertain incompletion even for entertainment sake never ever entertain incompletions even for entertainment sake because before you know it would have become bondage suffocation in your thinking the liberated thinking please listen today i am feeling so contented that i told some of the very beautiful truth in my satsang today i very rarely feel job satisfaction today i really feel job satisfaction because today what i shared if you can practice this process it will completely poke holes in your incomplete logic which pushes you to make more and more incomplete decisions in your life actually to tell you honestly a guru is like you are liar the defense liar he does not need to even prove Hundred percent, you are innocent. He just need to poke a hole in prosecution logic. I just need to poke holes in your incompletion logic, which makes you more and more incompletion acts, which makes you do more and more incomplete acts. If I just poke holes in that logic and make you look at the emptiness of that logic that is enough the flow of the kala in you the time in you mahadeva asu dosha bole baba who is always compassionate gives you the benefit of doubt and liberates you understand mahadeva mahakala is the judge guru is your defense lawyer maya is the prosecution lawyer but unfortunately you do not recognize the defense lawyer you go and stand with a prosecution lawyer and you go on saying yes yes to whatever he is telling in front of mahakala so first of all i have to poke a hole in prosecution lawyer's argument then i have to tell you you fool you are not a sinner you are amartasya putra this prosecution lawyer is making you believe you are a sinner and you also believe and go on saying yes to it the moment you understand the holes and jump this side mahakala is waiting to deliver judgment in your favor <laughs> mahadeva is just waiting to deliver judgment in your favor understand just do this process today please dedicate one hour for you you can dedicate at any time morning or evening what whenever you want see five perception which is perceived as a fact and makes you make decisions 
and see five fact which is perceived as a perception and you don't attend to it or don't care for it. See this two, sit and complete with it. That's all. That's all. Completion is ability to see your illogical logics on which you are reading your life. It is like seeing you got into the mud horse and enter the river to cross the river. Whether you see it or not, what is going to happen is going to happen. You think if you don't realize or if you don't look in, it is a madas, you are going to be saved. If you understand it is a madas, with this madas you got into the river, at least you can drop the horse and swim. Swimming is surrendering to Guru. <laughs> Dumping the madars is dropping your SDHT. I wanted every one of you to spare at least one hour today. Do this process then you will understand how the completion is important in your daily life. Completion is important in your decision making. Completion should become part of you. I will give the essence of the today's satsang in Hindi because it is a very important subject. I wanted this to be on record in Hindi. Aap sabhi sochte hai ki kuch karya sambhav hai, kuch karya asambhav hai, kuch aur karya tode prayatna ke saath sambhav hai, jivan ke prati aap Binna binna drishti kon rakte hai udaran roop aap yadi ek factory mein kaam kar rahe hai aur prati din machine par kar rakhe hai aapka usme aapna haat kone ka kone ka bai nahi hoga kintu aap shayat aapne bagal ke vyakti jo secret pita hai usse dekkar cancer se भयभीत होंगे ध्यान से सुनिए जीवन में आपका दृष्टिकोण महत्वपूर्ण है आपका दृष्टिकोण ही आपके जीवन में निर्णय लेता है आपकी अपूर्णताओं को इस समझ से देखिए आपकी अपूर्णताएं आपकी दृष्टिकोण के कारण है ना कि वास्तविकता पर आधारित है आपकी अपूर्णताएं जब आपको आपकी दृष्टिकोण को वास्तविकता में रूप में दर्शना दर्शाने में सफल होते हैं वही वही शक्तिहीनता है वही अपूर्णता है और जब आप वास्तविकता को केवल दृष्टिकोण समझते हैं वही अज्ञान है शक्तिहीनता है यह दोनों ही जीवन में आपके बद अनुभव का मूल है इन दोनों का कारण है 
अपूर्णता वास्तविकता को जब आप वास्तविकता के रूप में देखते हैं और दृष्टिकोण को दृष्टिकोण के रूप में देखते हैं आप जीवन को लीला के रूप में अनुभव करते हैं आज यह प्रक्रिया कीजिए आपके जीवन में पांच वास्तविकता को जिए जो आप दृष्टिकोण के रूप में देखते हैं यह वास्तविकता आपको कार्य की तरफ प्रेरित नहीं करते हैं आपके जीवन में पांच दृष्टिकोण को जिए जो आप वास्तविकता के रूप में देखते हैं एक दृष्टिकोण आपको बद सोच में बंधित रखते हैं आप फिर एक समझ पाएंगे कि वास्तविकता और दृष्टिकोण का गलत अनुभव ही आपके अद्वैत अनुभव को बुलाता है जब आप आरंभ में अपूर्णताओं को अज्ञानता को प्रोत्साहन देते हैं वह शक्ति पाते हैं और आप द्वंद्व अनुभव में बंद होने का अनुभव करते हैं इसीलिए मैं कहता हूं कि कभी अपूर्णता को मजाक के लिए भी अपने जीवन में स्थान ना दीजिए let you all radiate with integrity authenticity responsibility and enriching with eternal bliss nityananda thank you nityananda dhyanapeetam nityananda nagar of mysore road bidadi bengaluru phone 08027279999 www.nityananda.org www.youtube.com/lifebliss foundation